Hey, up viewers and viewers, is. my name is John Red Strategist, and I doth decree that it is time for more Real Saboteur. This is episode 5 now, so we're here in this level. We've got three objectives this time. We have to locate and steal another technical operations book. Destroy the doors, that is blocking access to open the exit. Locate way to rocket base, of course. I think we're getting closer and closer to our ultimate objective. Now, I've been recording these, of course, in one big batch uh, since uh, episode 3, pretty much. Just because, like I mentioned in episode 3, there were a few technical issues that I had with um, Real RTCW previously, hence why I'm batch recording, so that um, in case it starts messing up again and I have to reinstall re 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 reinstall Real RTCW, fuck, that's a mouthful, in case I have to reinstall Real RTCW, then I don't have to play all the way through because I've technically played a huge amount of the map, or all of it. That's what I'm going to try and aim to do. I'm going to try and aim to complete it in this session. Oh, he's down. There's baddies en route. He's just walking casually. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, no, he is. He's come back. Scientist behind him. Oi! Stop it. What are you up to there, matey? You're going to pull a gun? No, please don't shoot me. Oh, no, you're fine. You're okay. Well, at least, you know, my objective here is not kill all scientists. Unless you suddenly pull a gun on me from behind, but I don't know if that's going to work. Ah, rocket diagrams and things, okay. Oh, you're out there now. Well, good for you, buddy. Don't go and alert anyone, please. Yeah, you go that way, that's fine. It's fine by me. Nope. Oh. Action music. Hello there. Too slow. Oh, there. There's more guys. Get down. Oh. Oof. A rapid, sh rapid shooting right there, ladies and gents. Good lord. That's locked. That is not locked. Get down. Get down. When I say get down, you need to get down, preferably. Oh, and you. Oof. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's the scientists, are they? Nah, they can't do much to me. This is the radio room? Ah, hello. Whoa! <laughs> Missed from that range. You're not much of a soldier, are you? Should've gone more and, you know, done a bit more training on the old firing range and all that. Shooting range, even. Uh, anything around here? No, okay. Maybe not. Right. Hmm. Hmm. This is going to be a bit of a labyrinth, isn't it? By the looks of it. God, it's like freaking playing SCP Containment Breach, except not. I don't want to say that because. Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah! Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I can shoot rapidly too, you know. Right, eat that, there we go. Uh, ammo. Oh, oh, hello. You, uh. You alright out there, matey? Nope. Oh. Ow. What a git. What an actual git. Take that, there we go. Right. Who else wants some? Oh, you two apparently. Oh, something tells me I need dynamite for this thing. So I'm just going to throw that down, because I managed to preserve it. After level three, whatever it was. Oh, that's the door, door that's blocking access to open the exit. So we need the technical operations book. That's probably actually back this way then. Keep a note of that door, because it's locked, isn't it? Yeah. Could be a secret behind there that we have to find our way to. So far the secrets have been pretty easy to find in this map. Often find myself not really looking around too much. It's been fairly straightforward. Hello. I'll take that. I'll take that. Ah, oh, extra dynamite, which I don't actually need. Because I had one left over. Like a pro. Oh. I'm back here. Huh. Oh yeah, I didn't go in here, did I? Oh no, you're cowering, it seems. Wasn't there another one? You had a gun? Oh no, it's just you, apparently. You were... Oops! <laughs> I didn't mean to shoot him. I just pressed uh, that by accident. Right, well, we got the Venom Tech Manual once again. So now it's just a matter of finding our way to the rocket base. G get out of the way. Get out of the way. Right. We go in this direction. I think we'll be good. We'll be good, and... Yeah. Uh, down here? Yes. Yes, that's right. Yes, yes indeed. Who's round here? Just a very dark door. Oh. 
he's cowering, that's good. Ah. Huh. Just a big room. Oh, hello. Is that going to open the door back there? It might well do. Now the action music comes in, which means bad shit's going to happen. Oh, hello. Oh, look. Venom Gunner. That probably means there's a flame trooper around somewhere. Oh, hey, 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 stop it. I can do that too, you know. Got him. Is there a... Flame Trooper? Oh! Just another Venom Gunner. I've got, um... Grenades with your name on them, matey. Hey, take it! Oof! He's down. Ow! Okay, he's dead. God, there's a few of them down there. Being a bunch of AS, AS holes. AS holes, that's what they're being, ladies and gents. Let's uh, reload this bad boy. It's been serving us very well, but I think we'll switch out to this for a bit. Hello. How are you guys doing over there? Not doing too well. Whoop. Yep. Whoop. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, you're dead. There we go. Now that's um, Creep and Shoot Mark II, that is. Oh, there's a few of you in there. Oh, lordy. Good, good lord. Well, we found uh, the way to the rocket base, apparently. Is this just the exit? That is the exit. There's no secret areas. Okay, that's fine. Before we go there, we're going to go and get some health. Was it in here? There's one in here. Yes, there we go. That's fine. That's better. See? Fantastic stuff. Yeah, the levels in this one are not typically very long, are they? You can sort of blast through them quite quickly. But hey, what can I say? I'm a pro and all that. <laughs> Toot my own horn. Alright, loading screen. <sighs> okay, V2 rocket. Launch abortion. Mission objectives. Find the control room and stop the launching of the V2 rocket. You're late. An officer gave the order to be prepared for the launching of the rocket, but you have a bit of time remaining while the launch preparations take place. Find the control centre and stop the process of the launch. Time is very short. Hurry. Stop the launch. Okay, right. It's going to be like the actual rocket level, isn't it? From default RTCW. I don't want to be here all day. God, the amount of times we've heard that line of dialogue. Well, there's the rocket there. You can see it through that sir, window. This had better be important. Uh, yes, sir. The American agent has infiltrated the X-Lab facility. What? Will this fool follow me to the ends of the Earth? What are your orders here, Oberfuhrer? Dispatch the remaining security force immediately. And if the American gets past the security force? Then I will deal with him. Jawohl! Okie doke. That was a uh, Death's Head's cutscene, very much. Oh, hello. Got him. The guy's up there. Someone's there. Oh. <laughs> you were much too slow, my friend. God, the amount of times I've said that. Over the course of this uh, map, this playthrough. Oh, that's the door where I just came from. Closing. Oh, hello. Too slow. And you. Oof. You. Who did that? Who was that? Hmm? Huh? Who? Oh, there you are. Get down. Right. I think I thought someone over there had shot me, but no. No, 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 no. That's not how it's going, is it? Oh, there's a few of you. One down. Oh, okay. Wait for him. Oh. Ow. Don't be like that, seriously. No, that's that. Got all the sounds of these doors opening and closing. Scientists. Anyone around here, though? Yes, there is. Hold on, hold on. Got him. Ow, 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 stop it. Stop it. Don't be like that. Why you gotta be so cruel? Do that, whatever that does. Oh. Don't shut the door on me. Great. Imagine if that button I just pressed actually insta-launches the rocket. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, no. Oh, you dropped an MG. I think I'll take an MG for a bit. Oh, no, that's a freaking flamethrower. What am I doing? Is that a glow of a flamethrower? I'm not entirely sure. Hang on, what's through here? If anything. Got him. <laughs> oh. Wow, I can just 
freaking blitz my way through them. This thing's nice and powerful, isn't it? Good lord. That does not open. This probably does not. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Just a random corridor of nothingness. How weird. It's always strange. You see design choices like that. So what is the point of this? I don't even know. Uh, over here. Let's go over here. Yeah, I definitely hear freaking... Then I'm gonna... Anywhere. You have the Flammenwerfer. There we go. <laughs> this fucking thing just annihilates them. It can do nothing about... Oh! Oh, there's the Venom Gunner! Get down! No, you don't. I'll take the 30, actually. Oh, it's only 15, apparently. Never mind. Right, let's reload this bad boy. wonder if we could... Uh... I don't know, I'm just wondering, is this the final level of the add-on? Because if it is, maybe we can get this add-on complete. Nope. Nope. Get out. You bugger. Come on. Come around that corner again, mate. I dare you. Oh, no, oh, he was thinking about it. Yeah. Someone's moving about. I can't go through there. We've got to go this way. Oh, God, where's this go? Hold on. Oh, does this just go round? Yeah, it's just that door. Okay, never mind. Oh, hello. No, please don't oh, I probably just killed the scientist who was cowering then, but never mind. There's an officer. Was that the same officer we had before? In the cutscene? I don't know. Oh. Get down. Please. Oh. God, this thing is so powerful. I love it. Ooh. No. 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 Stop it. Stop it. Oh, hello. Got him. He threw two at once, he did. What a freaking... Uh, Attempt at being a badass. Oh, uh oh, uh, how I stop launch? launch there we go. Oh, is that me? So have I just beaten the add-on, or is this? Oh, oh, <laughs> the music started playing again. It's like it couldn't decide. It was like, oh, shall I play again, or shan't I? So is that it? Here for oh, okay. Well, that's it. Well, thank you, Dan, <laughs> who is the level designer, the scripting, sound, programming, character artist, technology, and AI programming and texture artist, as well as F Digital and VicPass for the adaptation to Real RTCW. Okay, well, a bit of a sudden ending, I I'll admit, but there you go, everybody. That was Saboteur. We ended it on episode five. That was a nice little one. I can certainly see why people were recommending this to me for so long, but like I say, I just had so much trouble playing the original standalone version of it. So it's good that it was transformed and brought over to real RTCW, because that now enables me to actually play it. But like I say, I've had to block record episodes three, four, and five as part of one session, given that um, I had that weird trouble with real RTCW earlier where I had to reinstall it and things like that. It's very strange. But um, yeah, I mean, overall, some summarising thoughts. A decent uh, RTCW map, especially better with the mod installed, with all the custom weapons and things. So yeah, lovely little one. Nice. Basic storyline, but uh, had some good uh, levels in it. Challenging, but not too difficult. I enjoyed it overall, and I wholeheartedly recommend it to anyone who's not played it. Oh man, okay, so what's uh, going to be coming next then? in the RTCW series. I'm actually just trying to string the video out a bit more, because I think I've been recording for, what, only just over 10 minutes there, so let's just, um, I'll just keep talking for a little while yet. So uh, what's next then, in terms of what I'm going to be looking at uh, here on as part of this series? Uh, obviously, we've got a whole choice of add-ons that we could potentially play. Now, I have had um, somebody request that I do, where is it? The Arc, no, not Armalont. I've done that already, Armalont. Uh, the Arcot Map Pack again. Um, I know technically I've played it twice before. Um, obviously, uh, way back when I played the original standalone version of it. And then, of course, um, I did a collab playthrough of it again with Jim, which was um, an interesting one because we used Ron Boy's SP uh, RTCW single player mod. Uh, whatever it was at the same time. So, who knows, maybe I'll do that. It might be interesting to do a third playthrough, this time with real RTCW. In fact, the idea I had was that I might do Arcot, um, and I may, I don't know, 
I'm just looking at what the sort of difficulty levels are. <laughs> Death incarnate. Do I dare? Do I dare? That's the question. Do I dare do Arcot? But on one of the two ultimate difficulty settings. Maybe Death Incarnate or Realism? I don't know. Ooh. That's a question. I'm, I'm toying with the idea, ladies and gents, of having a go at that. So that may be something that comes in the near future. I may do that next. Who knows? Unless I decide to chicken out and uh, do something... Oop, didn't want to go to options, sorry. Then again, I mean, I could always um, maybe save that for a bit and just maybe do some smaller add-ons first. Because obviously there's ones in here which I've played before a long time ago. A Castle Keep, for example, as well as A Night at the Opera. They were two, I think, of the maps I... Mm, earliest maps I played here on the General Red Strategist channel back in 2012, whenever it was that I started. So maybe I'll do those ones. Metro, incidentally. This one up here. Or Liner. Major schools. You never know. I may do I may do uh, some filler using those ones. So I'll tell you what, actually, I might do that. I'm going to float the idea. Arcot. I'll probably do it. But um, in the meantime, leave some thoughts down below. How sort of uh, into that suggestion are you of maybe, maybe me doing Arcot on either Death Incarnate or on Realism Difficulty? Does that sound like something you'd be entertained by? I know it probably would be something you'd be entertained by, because I imagine on Realism, certainly. In fact, probably just on Death Incarnate as well. It'll probably be absolutely gleeful for you to um, watch me screaming with frustration. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, okay, well, I'll think about that. I'll probably do it, like I say, but in the meantime, obviously, if you want to leave comments, I'll probably record some uh, short add-ons, just as a bit of filler, and then seeing how people's kind of responses are, I might do the uh, Arcot again. Yeah, okay, right, I'm, I'm just sort of rambling now and saying the same things over and over again, so let's let's wrap up here. Uh, okay, Facebook and Twitter links down below as usual, along with a propagandist channel link for anyone interested in that. If you enjoyed, do not forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. But in the meantime, I'm signing off now. Thank you, everybody, and goodbye. What is doing that? Uh, what is doing that? I don't know what that is. I've never encountered that in the game before. What the hell? Uh, uh, that does not sound like the wolves. Oh, what the... the ground shaking, what, what? Something... What is that? What the fuck is that? What the hell? What are you doing? What is he doing? He's smashing my stuff. Don't you hit Chester, you son of a bitch. Uh, uh, put that on. Uh, attack this. Oh my god, what the hell? Oof. What the heck is he doing? Oh my god, that really isn't good. Hey, all viewers and viewers, is my name is John Ritzrodist, welcome back to the Real Saboteur map for RTCW. So, this is episode 5 now. Actually, now that I think about this, uh, we're not going to actually do this, because uh, I need to actually go and get food. My bad, I'll record after I've had food, <laughs> never mind.